We are live on Facebook. We are live on Instagram. Hi guys. Okay, so I've got you guys in two different spots because I couldn't set you up together. Um, but I'm excited to be here today. We're making a protein soft serve ice cream. So it is hot outside. It is beautiful outside. It's pool weather. Um, it's that time of year where I just feel like I'm craving lighter, cooler, fresher things. So um, actually came up with this recipe like years and years ago and I haven't made it in so long and the other day I was just craving it. So I made it and I'm sharing it with you guys. So for the protein soft serve, essentially you're gonna need bananas. So I'm making two portions. You need two bananas, um, you need protein powder. I'm using just a vanilla protein powder here. We're using our trim um, protein powder, which is currently out of stock, but you can use any protein powder you like. Uh, and then almond milk, so truly three ingredients. So before we dive in, quick reminder that our next round of Trim Bootcamp kicks off on Monday, so this coming Monday. And um, Trim, if you guys are not aware or familiar with the program, it's eight weeks nutrition, fitness, it's our big group program. Um, you learn all about carb cycling, all about um, macro management, really learning how to um, fuel your body properly, how to exercise more effectively, how to be more mindful, and how to make it a lifestyle that sticks. So not only are you gonna lose the weight, but you're gonna keep it off for good. So. If you guys want to join us for Trim, Instagram's in the link in our bio, Facebook, it's um, on the banner. You just click that little link, sign up. Registration closes on Sunday, but we do typically fill up. Um, oh no, my mom's calling me. Um, we do typically fill up all of our rounds, so um, if you guys are interested, hop on. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this softer. So I've got my bananas and I've just got them chopped up here and frozen. Again, I'm using two bananas, peeled, frozen, diced up. If you guys don't have a high speed blender, you're gonna to wanna to use a food processor for this. So this is one of those things where um, I prefer to do it in my blender just because I have Vitamix, but if you don't, a food processor is probably a better bet just because it can get really um, hard to grind it up in a, a regular blender. And if you can chop it up better, I recommend that. I was lazy and just froze them in halves, so um, I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of blending, but we've got that. And then two scoops of protein powder. So basically, again, one scoop for every portion. So if you're making this for one, you'll just use one scoop, um, but I'm gonna do two. And you want to make sure you just do it up to the line. So this protein powder, the scooper is actually bigger than the portion. Um, so a lot of ladies will fill it up all the way. It'll make it too um, kind of cakey and too dry. So just enough for two scoops. And then we're going to add some almond milk. So I'm going to start off with like, I don't know, two tablespoons of almond milk. And then we'll add from there. I'm not sure exactly how much. It kind of depends on... Again, the protein powder you're using, the bananas, all the things. So I just like to add a little bit and then sort of go from there. If you guys do have a high speed blender, it comes with a tamper. Make sure you guys use that. I don't know where mine is. So we're just gonna kind of wing it. Uh, and then I'll just have to scrape it down a few times. Yeah. Top my drawer. And I'm just gonna blend. So basically, blend it on low. let your blade sort of crack the banana and start breaking it. So again, it takes a little bit of practice, but... Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more almond milk, but that's starting to come together. You guys can see, you don't wanna add too much because you don't want to become liquid. So maybe six tablespoons are in now. Gonna blend again. And the protein powder really makes it thick and creamy. bananas have that texture of like a soft serve so it's a really decadent treat that doesn't have any added sugar um, we're not adding any honey even we're not adding any sort of stevia nothing um, it's really just the banana so it's a, a whole food um, recipe. and again if I chopped my bananas up it would have gone a lot quicker yeah um Kathy, yeah, I'm using the trim. Fortunately, I have a lot of it. Uh, I would recommend, I like the Ancient Nutrition, their bone broth protein. That's probably my, my second go-to. Uh, it's not as good, but it works. I know a lot of people like the Vega brand. Um, so that one's good. And if you guys want to comment below, we should start a thread of which protein powder is everyone's favorite because I struggle with that one because I do trim. But yeah, that's a good question. It'll be back hopefully soon. Give me a stir. Blending it up, and again, I had 
has this massive chunk. So didn't prepare for this, but um, if you guys cut these up, I would recommend cutting into like small slices. That will make it go a lot quicker. All right, I am gonna add one more, two tablespoons. So we're off to a half cup almost of liquid. Um, and that should be enough because I have a long milk. down the edges too but you guys can see look at that texture it looks like saucer of ice cream really good mm -mm -mm. it's so cold shaken typically with the trim stuff I just shake it with almond milk um, I can do it like in a smoothie but yeah I'm sorry I'm not better help for that I really I'm not a huge protein powder fan and that's why we create trim obviously to solve that problem all right got chunk is still in there but I'm gonna do one more blend <laughs> Yep, the banana's frozen. So I chopped up two bananas. Actually, I didn't chop them, but I froze them whole. That's why it's taking forever. Chop up two bananas, two scoops of protein powder, and about a half cup of almond milk. Blend it up. Um, if you want to do the peanut butter version, which is one of my favorites, you can do um, a tablespoon or two of peanut butter, which is really delicious. I just did classic here. And then you're just going to kind of blend it until it's all thick and creamy and delicious. But, like, look at that. Can you see that? I mean, how good does that look? What a good dessert. And again, 20 grams of protein. It's literally three ingredients. Um, there's no fat in this one. So if you need more fat, again, I would recommend this, this cake peanut butter would be really good. You could do coconut flakes on top. But look at the texture. And you don't want to blend it so much that it gets melted. So you gotta be kind of careful. That's why chopping up the bananas is definitely important. But yeah, a really great way to kind of have dessert and get that protein in. So again, if you guys want to join us for trim, when I trim starts on Monday, um, you get access to this recipe and a thousand more, um, completely free with trim. You get a healthy fashion our meal planning software. Inside of trim, we've got our new app. We've got live workouts. We've got recorded workouts. We've got PDF workouts. We've got daily challenges. It's just, it's such a great program to really just help you not only lose weight, but change your life and be healthier and happier and really learn how to um, just live a healthier life. So. If you guys want information, shoot us a message if you have questions. Um, link is in the bio on Instagram. It's in the banner on Facebook. And I guess I should give this a try. Make sure it's not terrible, but pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. Look what it is, guys. Mm. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see y'all tomorrow at noon. I'll be on talking about how to switch up your carb sleeping schedule. So I'll see y'all then. Bye.